In this video, we'll see how to solve a typical exam type question for IB Math Studies, uh, in which we're given a parabola, which is shown here, and we're told that this parabola intersects the y-axis at A with coordinate 0, 12, and has vertex at B with coordinates 2, 16. We're then told that the parabola's equation is y equals to c plus bx minus x squared. And finally, we're asked to do two things. First, to find the value of c, and second, to find the value of b. Now, let's go ahead and see how to do this. So I'll just write solution. Now, to find the value of c, the key thing to notice here, if I recopy this curve's equation, that's y equals to c plus bx minus x squared. Well, c here is the y-intercept of this curve. So I'll just write that here. That's the y-intercept. And we can tell that that's the y-intercept because it's the only term in this curve's equation which doesn't have an x. So we can actually just find c very quickly and notice that c must be the y-coordinate of a. So I can go ahead and say that c is equal to 12. That's the y-intercept of the curve. So at this stage, we can already go ahead and say y equals to 12 plus bx minus x squared. That's our first part done. The second question, we have to find the value of b. Well, in this case, we're going to use the second bit of information we were given in our question. And I'll just underline it here. In our first part, we used a with coordinates 0, 12, that was the y-intercept. So now we're going to use the second bit of information that was given to us, which was that b has coordinates 2, 16. Now, how are we going to use this? Well, since we know that b has coordinates 2, 16, that must mean that if I replace x by 2 and y by 16 inside the equation y equals to 12 plus bx minus x squared, if I replace x by 2 and y by 16, well, I'll end up with an equation for b. So let's go ahead and do that. I replace x by 2 and y by 16. So that would be 16 equals to 12 plus b times 2 minus 2 squared. That leads us to 16 equals to 12 plus 2b minus 4. Simplifying a bit, that's 16 equals to, I can subtract the 4 from the 12, so 12 minus 4 equals to 8 plus 2b. And I can now subtract 8 from each side, leading us to 8 equals to 2b. Finally, I can see that b is being multiplied by 2, so if I divide both sides by 2, I end up with 8 over 2 equals to b, and therefore 4 equals to b, or b equals to 4. And there we have it. So we can now write this curve's equation. It's y is equal to 12 plus 4x minus x squared. And that's how we would answer it. This